Hello everyone, Hamil here going through my current position on RTX. Before I do that, uh, please make sure you do your own due diligence and follow your plan. These are my thoughts and my plan. I'm just sharing uh, with all of you. So let's look at the weekly chart here first. So it is forming a double bottom after a cup here on a weekly chart. And if you look on the left side here and fundamentals, so it is it has it's showing improving, improving fundamental estimates at least. So we can see a good positive uh, earnings growth year over year. There was a merger, so there is, we can also see a pretty strong rev growth there. Now, what do they do? They provide aerospace and defense systems and services for commercial, military, and government uh, customers. Uh, they do actually, uh, it's an international company, they do, do business over uh, 40 plus countries. And then uh, we can, you know, if interested, you can uh, go through with this individual um, sub business categories there so let's look at uh, the revenue and earnings estimates now i always want to invest in a company which is going to grow both revenue and earnings at least that's what i look at so as we can see a pretty good earnings growth uh, estimated now these are estimates obviously so there is no guarantee rev growth uh, again a very healthy growth over the course of next uh, two or three years now let's look at a daily chart so I do have a current position here, which was bought on this day. That was, I was, you know, it was, it was looking really positive, looking like it is going to break out. It did not have, it actually broke down and uh, I still hold that position here. I am actually planning on adding a position it, if it continues to tighten up. So I actually have a buy limit for now at uh, 7130. So I'll be adding to my current position that will become a full position for me. Now, uh, this is a day order so I can change based on how it reacts tomorrow now first time i had brought this uh, stock or i had uh, created a video among the list of stocks that were setting up back here on january 12th that is what prompted me to buy this on january 14th so i do my research ahead of time and since i have a full-time job i also put my limits whether it's a buy limit sell limit ahead of time because i do not have time during the course of the day so so again, it, it is tightening up here. Earnings is not an issue. It's out of the way. My target on this is $90 over the course of time, not tomorrow, over the course of next few weeks to months. Now, I, I currently I do plan on holding. If that changes, I will definitely um, update everybody on that. But that's what I'm looking at now. Kathy Woods fan, if uh, anyone uh, is a fan of her, I, I really like her. She's super smart. Uh, Arc Invest, uh, I guess, founder and CEO, I believe. So they have initiated a position in LMT. Now, this one is under its 200 day moving average. So in my opinion, RTX is much better set up than LMT. However, I know she has bought a position in LMT over the course of last few days. So, and we can, if we see one more thing here, we can see money coming in. So this is, this is RTX, Raytheon Technologies. As we can see, this industry group has been improving week over week, which is a positive sign as well. So. Again, that is my plan. I'm uh, planning on adding adding to my initial position if it hits buy limit tomorrow or if it continues to tighten up, then I will obviously adjust my buy limit. So that's all I have for now. I hope you have your own plan. If you are holding this or if you're looking to open up a position, it is setting up, in my opinion, uh, as a low risk buy because you would know if you're wrong if it breaks under 50 the moving average again. So that's all I have. I hope this helps. Have a good one. Take care.